your Wii menu, and you're just gonna make a quick double check that you have the right system. You're just gonna go to menu and then Wii settings. Look up in the right corner up here. It should say 4.2 and then your region. U uh, United States, Europe, whatever. Yeah, back out. Back. And verify we have the right region and everything. So then you're gonna put your SD card in the front. And then once it's in, you're gonna move down here and click on the SD icon. And it should pop up and say SD card menu. You're okay, gonna click that. It's gonna say loading from the SD card. And once it's finished loading, you get a message if you put the files on correctly. Load boot.doll slash ELF. Yes, we would like to load this because we do want to install. And then for about 15 seconds, you're going to get this message that tells you um, if you paid for this, you were scammed, and that it's 100% free software. Then you're gonna push one to continue when prompted. It's gonna tell us that all of these things can be installed, but we only care about the homebrew channel. So we're gonna hit continue using the A button on the Wiimote. Move all the way up to the top using the D-pad and select install the homebrew channel. Install the homebrew channel now? Yes, install it now. And the homebrew channel is installed. So we're going to hit continue and scroll to the bottom and select exit. And this will take us straight to the homebrew channel. So now you can look up on how to set up your card to get all the necessary files to install your homebrew apps. So right now let's just check out some Super Nintendo. This is one of the many things you can do and the Wii does run backups extremely well. Let's just do some Super Mario All-Stars. And this does have support for the classic controller if you happen to have one of those. You get the idea. I'm just gonna exit back to the uh, the uh, homebrew channel, and then we're gonna exit back to the menu. So your homebrew channel is completely installed. Now you can run all those cool apps you always wanted to run, but you never could figure out how it actually worked. There you have it. If you have any questions about how this works or other things besides getting ROMs, you can leave a comment below this video and all of the necessary files that you're going to need to uh, install this, I'll put in the info box on the right hand side of this.